Slay, please. Anniversary, Barry, take one. When we started out, I went with that intent that I wanted it to grow. We didn't know exactly what it was going to grow into. We figured it would take us five years to figure out who we were. But what we do know is that we wanted to do good. We constantly get these reminders about what the stakes are when people don't feel like they have the opportunity to participate in their society. There's lots of wonderful organizations out in the world and I was hoping that we would be able to connect those organizations in such a way that we would be able to spread good practices that would have a positive social impact. We identify, we research, we celebrate the work of organizations who are out there changing the status quo. They're changing the way that people interact with some of the world's hardest problems. The finalists are really doing their life's passion. That's inspiring. It makes you want to help. We have a strong learning culture here at the university. You can constantly get better, you can constantly learn, you can constantly do better for other people. The prize was modeled in such a way as to encourage some of the best and brightest students in the country to choose social impact as a career. Even the prize award has grown from the first year to now we're able to give away three six-figure prizes to the honoree organizations. The winner now receiving a quarter million dollars and then two additional honorees getting $100,000. It's incredible that the prize now is fully endowed. We're able to have this prize really in perpetuity and to know that this investment and this expansion of the Littman community will continue on. What it comes down to really with the prize is seeing that the organizations are working toward how the world could be. They're looking to see the transformation of a child being able to get another year of education that's going to transform his whole life. Seeing that child that no longer has to sleep on a dirt floor and the health impacts that come from that. Seeing organizations that are addressing root causes like maternal health and seeing that that changes whether a child lives or dies, whether a community can thrive. If people don't get sick, if people can have some economic development, if people have a chance to have a decent life, that's what the world getting better means.